Hi, in this set of tutorials, I want to take you through how I would rig a simple character. So I've got this potato. This was designed by Digital Gravy Animation. And um, I want to take you through each of the stages. So let's quickly go over what the stages are. So you've got a breakdown, and that's where you describe what you need for the character in order for it to work and any special setups that you might have to do. And then we're going to trace the image into Harmony. We'll build the front half of the character. That just means we're only going to build one eyeball, one arm, one leg, and then later we'll clone it and stuff. I'm going to show you my layers toolbox. Uh, it's a little tool that I've made that's helpful to me. And then we're going to talk about how to pose out a full turn. So how are we going to get from front, quarter front, to profile, quarterback, back, that kind of thing. Um, after that, most of the rig will be ready to use. Uh, we will want to add some mouth swaps, some hand swaps, any other extra swaps so like blinks, cheeks, anything that might not be here and visible already on these uh, model sheets. We'll add selection handles. Those are things that just make it easier for an animator to interact with the rig. After that, we'll do a pose test. So this is the special pose that I have. Usually I like to pose the rig um, to a few poses before I call it done so that I can find any problems with it before I send it to be animated by people and then they all have the same problems. <laughs> Best to, to find that stuff now. Finally, we'll finalize the rig by making sure all the swap names are good. We will delete extra pieces that we don't need. Just try to tidy things up in the node view and the timeline and the X sheet. Uh, we'll add prefixes to all the layer names. That's really important to do. Um, before moving to the next stage. I'm going to check for the render view to see if there's any errors. Usually we work in the OpenGL view and then we're going to click on the render view. Uh, we will group the rig. This is just a standard practice. We'll put a composite underneath it. You'll see that part later. Um, finally, once all of that stuff is figured out, then we can add master controllers once we know that the rig is built the way that it's going to be forever. Um, because master controllers, once you create a master controller script, it depends on everything being named the same and being organized in the same way. Finally, after that, we were going to add the rig to our library so that we can dump it into any new scene that we want in Harmony. So that's the overview. And uh, so stay tuned. See you soon.